It's full speed ahead for two major road construction projects. Good evening, I'm Jackie Parks. And I'm Tim Callahan, and not everyone is happy about those projects since some residents are likely to lose their homes. Approximately $16 million of $180 million was announced today to go towards the right-of-way acquisition for the 24th Street Widening Project. The project's environmental impact report was approved by the City Council earlier this month, despite opposition from residents. The work would mean demolishing about two dozen homes to expand the road to four lanes in each direction, and many residents in Bakersfield will also be affected by the Centennial Corridor project, which got the lion's share of that $180 million today. 23 ABC's Carlos Correa is live in Northwest Bakersfield, where many families are expected to lose their homes. Carlos? Many homes in this part of town, including the property behind me and just east of where I'm standing, will be demolished. And after a year of fighting, many families we spoke with say they're just ready to move forward. Frank Herrera has lived on La Mirada Drive for close to 15 years and is prepared to start fresh somewhere else. I love to live here, but uh, if I have to move, I have to move, you know. And uh, like I say, it's all in progress. Caltrans and the Federal Highway Administration approved an early release of $165 million to the city of Bakersfield, which will be allocated for the purchase of about 400 homes and structures along the new freeway site linking the West Side Parkway and Highway 58. A lot of them are elderly people, and they lived here all their lives, and they own their homes, and they don't want to leave. You know, it, it, it'd be hard for them. It'll be hard for anybody. About 75 households are willing to sell their property, but those opposed have already filed lawsuits to stop the project. I feel for those residents that are directly, you know, related to this now, uh, knowing that the things that we were told haven't come about. Some properties may head for eminent domain if residents don't want to sell under early acquisition, the process by which they are essentially forced to sell. It's a major step in the advancement of the projects, and it's very exciting for people who have been waiting to hear that they can sell their properties. Caltrans is focused on Plan B and an environmental impact report for it may be ready to go public as early as April. Just learn to accept it and, and move on. It, you never know, the next house might be better than this one. On March 5th, leaders with the Thomas Road Improvement Project plan to address the city council to ask for early acquisition here in the southwest. If approved, then TRIP will be able to move forward to the next step. Tim.